Welcome to Words of Aloha with Pastor Izzy Manzo of Amazing Grace Ministries International. We're headquartered in Kailua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Join us now as we get into God's Word. Father in heaven, we thank you for our time to look in your word this morning. We just pray, Lord, that you would take all of our distractions away, Lord, and we could just look to you now, look to your word, and we pray that you use Pastor Izzy to speak to each one of us, to encourage us, Lord, to draw us ever closer to you. We ask that now in Jesus' name, and all God's people said, Amen. 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 Well, guys, grab your Bibles and turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and we're going to jump back to our study we were doing in Corinthians before the holy holidays of uh, Palm Sunday and uh, Resurrection Sunday last week, and we're coming back to the part that we saw, we, we left off um, three weeks ago at verse 26 of 1 Corinthians 12, and it, it was the verse that said, if one member of the body suffers, then how much of the rest of the body suffers? What does it say in verse 26? All of it. And I gave you the example of... Um, you know, you hit your you hit your thumb with a, a hammer, and isn't it amazing how quick the rest of your body gets into the action to um, to help out? Or you slam your your hand in the in the cupboard door or the, or the car door, and all of a sudden the whole body jumps up and comes, oh, 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 you know, and there's kisses and there's running for the legs get involved and run for the for for hopefully for help to get to the ice pack or or to get the the you know to the medicine cabinet and you start. You know, the body, we don't tell our body, hey, everybody, one part's hurting. We should all get involved in this. It's just something that the body, our body, does naturally whenever one part of our body gets hurt. The rest of the body, it's like a signal is sent out, and it's just everybody alert. We have pain. We need to take care of this. And our physical body is the example Paul is using to explain the body of Christ. Now he's saying we are all members. Look at the next verse. It says, for we, it says, are Christ's body. And we are individually members of it. We're all different parts of Christ's body, but we're still a part. And if one part of the body suffers, well, then the Bible says then the whole body suffers. In other words, we, and, and that's the part I had to leave off on. The, the thought we left you with last time was we were in Corinthians was, that once one part is suffering, then the whole of the body should be coming to the rescue to help out. But the next part of the verse, I didn't get to complete, verse 26, if you look with me, he says, and if one member of the body is honored, if one member of the body is honored, then what does it say? Then all of the members of the body will rejoice with it. Mm-hmm. This is something that you know, when our body, if we have one part of our body that is honored, say maybe a, you, one part, let's pick up your vocal cords, you're, you're a gifted singer. And someone comes up and goes, wow, Connie, you are a really gifted singer. You know, you have such a gift of just beautiful voice. And, you know, they're, they're honoring one part, one member of your body. They're saying, what a, what a fantastic voice you have. Does, does, what does it say the rest of your body does? Rejoice. It rejoices. You don't. The rest of your body goes. Oh, that's nice to hear. The ears are happy. You know, the my the mouth might even smile and the eyes brighten. And come on, Emma. And uh, and the whole of the of the body gets excited because you know it rejoices with just it was just one part being complimented. But you know we don't we don't differentiate and say well that's just one part that that did that. So. If one part, one member of the body, of your body, is complimented and, 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 and someone praises it and, and, and it's rejoicing, it, it, this is something, it gets honored. Then the rest of your body says, this is great. Except that in Christianity, since we're all parts of the body of Christ, we're different parts, if one person in the body of Christ, they're just one part of Christ's body, if they get honored, what does the rest of the body do? I hate to tell you this. But what we're supposed to do is rejoice. Amen. But I've seen some pettiness in Christianity where they don't rejoice. Right? Well, why do they get all the honor? 
And why do they get all the compliments? And I'm still part of the body. They're not doing what the body, our, our earthly body, naturally rejoices whenever one part is honored. doesn't matter what part. Someone comes up and goes, you know, oh, you have beautiful eyes. You don't go, my, well, my hand is jealous. Or my <laughs> you, know, you don't do that. That's cuckoo. You go, all right. And the whole body just says, oh, thank you. It rejoices. If one part of your body is honored, you're supposed to rejoice, right? I mean, we do it naturally. Why don't we do that naturally when it comes to when one member of the body of Christ is honored? Pride. Pride. Yeah. Exactly. You hit the nail right on the head. Pride. We're jealous. Why do they get honored? Why does someone compliment them for, oh, what a good job you do, pancake lady, always making those nice pancakes for everyone. And, and then someone else is jealous. You know, my wife has been doing the homeless feeding for so many years and, and is always behind the scenes practicing the gift of hospitality. And Paul's about to go on and talk about some of the gifts of the Spirit, but he says not all of us have every gift. Or some of us have one gift. Now, it doesn't matter what <coughs> gift you have from God, what does, what's important with God we when it comes to gifts? That, we that you use the gift He gave you. He gave that whole parable of the talent thing, that whatever gift you have, you use it. Well, my wife's been using that gift of hospitality, of cooking food for, for the homeless for so many years. And there was a fellow, he came one day and goes, I'm going to kill you to Jan. Right at the beach. Threatened her right in front of the fellows while we were serving food. Because I want to serve the food. I want everyone to love me because they all love you. Aww. This was his perspective. <coughs> is all, the, all the people on the streets love Jan because she's been cooking food for them. Well, you know, so Jan's cooking all this stuff and this blue-haired Steve shows up and says, I'm going to kill you. Be because everyone loves you but they don't love me. And I was like, he's crying, I need love. He almost died that day, though, because <laughs> I was torn, you know. I was like, you don't threaten a, a Sicilian man's wife. And even though I'm a pa I, I was like, I was like, Lord, I'm really struggling with this, you know. I, I'm, assume the position. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Assume the position. I am dead in Christ. <laughs> and alive to God. Dead in Christ. What do I do, Lord? And, and, and I'm, I'm literally having a trial over this. And these guys come up, the homeless guys come up and say, Pastor, don't you lose your Jesus on this. We, we'll take care of him for you. We don't have to. We, we, we don't mind. We don't want you to get a bad reputation. We'll make sure he disappears in a lava tube down south. And I was like, uh, I'm not sure Jesus wants that. Maybe we should pray for him to repent. And maybe, maybe we should pray for him to find out what his gift is his gift is in the Lord and get him to use it. Because see, the problem was is that he was looking at another member of the body that was being honored and he wasn't rejoicing for that member. He had he had the problem, what Paul described right in verse 26, of he wasn't, as another member of the body, rejoicing that my wife was being honored with praise of thank you for the nice breakfast, you know, Thank you for the wonderful hot meal. Whatever the praises were that she was receiving. He wasn't rejoicing. And, the re and I'm going to tell you, I submit to you, the reason that we get bugged out about someone else being honored is usually because we're not busy using the gift what we were given. If we're busy doing the gift God gave us, we'll get the praise we're, we're accorded on the right day that we're meant to get it. But it'll come from us being faithful at using our gift whatever your gift is mahalo for joining us if you'd like more information about us go to our website amazinggracekona.com and click the link to follow us on facebook that's amazinggracekona.com mahalo and god bless